Hello, Christine Niles here. Before we get into headlines, please remember you can watch this and all the videos we produce over at churchmilitant.com. There's Vortex, Headlines, Download, and all sorts of free and premium shows, not to mention daily news and commentary on current events relevant to the Catholic world. Please click the link after the video, and we'll see you at churchmilitant.com. Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Friday, February 23rd, 2018. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Vatican's chief of liturgy is blasting Holy Communion in the hand. In the preface to a new book, Cardinal Robert Seurat urges Catholics to readopt the practice of receiving the Eucharist on the tongue while kneeling. Seurat warns that belief in the real presence is withering, saying, quote, the most insidious diabolical attack consists in trying to extinguish faith in the Eucharist by sowing errors and fostering an unsuitable way of receiving it. Seurat describes the Eucharist as the devil's ultimate target. An Idaho senator was caught on video slamming pro-abort activists to their face. On Monday, a group of Planned Parenthood supporters littered Senator Dan Foreman's office with condoms in retaliation for his cancellation of a meeting. Abortion is murder. I stand against it. I am a Roman Catholic. I'm a conservative Republican. I think what you guys do stinks. That is your choice? You're right. It's my choice. So stay out of my office. You shouldn't make it other people's. Next time you walk in my office, you're going to be dealing with ISP. Foreman is a veteran and a former police officer. The head of the German bishops is pushing Holy Communion for non-Catholics. Munich's Cardinal Reinhard Marx said in a press report Thursday that a pastoral handout will allow Protestant spouses of Catholics to discern for themselves whether to receive the Eucharist. He says as his reason that if couples can't receive communion together, it could jeopardize the marriage. This comes less than a month after Marx proposed the blessing of gay unions. An Illinois bishop is safeguarding the Holy Eucharist. In a statement issued last week, Bishop Thomas Paprocki of Springfield lamented that Democrat Catholic Senator Dick Durbin supports abortion and refused to help pass a recent pro-life law. Paprocki announced, quote, Senator Durbin is not to be admitted to Holy Communion until he repents of this sin. Senator Durbin was once pro-life. I sincerely pray that he will repent and return to being pro-life. The ban on receiving communion is simply a repeat of an announcement Paprocki made in 2014. New Jersey's new governor is giving millions of dollars to Planned Parenthood. With the abortion giant's CEO, Cecile Richards, smiling nearby, Democrat Phil Murphy signed a bill Wednesday restoring more than $7 million taxpayer dollars to the nation's largest abortion network. Reversing cuts by predecessor Chris Christie, the bill was the first Murphy signed since becoming governor in January. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about a big party. And check out the download where the panel discusses launching into the deep. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And even better, head over to churchmilitant.com to watch headlines, vortex, download in hundreds of hours of video, as well as read articles on our site and check out reporting you won't find at any other Catholic outfit. And don't forget, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So please be sure to follow us there as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you over at churchmilitant.com. God bless.